Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Sugar Maple Farmhouse and today I want to show you five easy ways that I get our house ready for fall and show you a DIY terracotta pumpkin craft. So fall is my favorite season, from the weather to the leaves to the cozy warm textures and the food. There's a lot to love about fall. About a week ago, we got our house fall ready and I wanted to show you a couple of quick ways that I do that here in our family room. Also, I created a duplicate of the Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkins that are all the rage right now and I wanted to show you how those turned out too. So let's get started. The first thing I do to get fall ready is change out my art. We typically have seasonal photos on the walls in the family room and by the fireplace. I make the swap easy by downloading art prints from Etsy and printing them on my own printer. This way I can have fresh art for each season. The second thing I do is to change out the linens and the textiles. Basically, I try to make everything a little more cozy. I'll add blankets with different textures and change out the pillow covers. I found using pillow covers is the easiest way for me to change the look from season to season. I prefer down pillows or down alternative and only keeping the pillowcases works better for storing and it becomes less costly too. The third thing I do is to add a few pumpkins. I know that kind of sounds simplistic and like a no duh, but there's no easier way to signal that fall is here and your home is all fall ready than by having a few pumpkins in place. Add one to the coffee table, add one to the fireplace, add one to the credenza, anywhere you might have had summer decor, swap it out for a pumpkin. Again, I'll show you how I made my DIY terracotta pumpkins in a few minutes. The fourth thing I do is to change out my florals. I love using real florals in my space when I can, but that can get pretty costly. This year I've opted for dried florals with a few faux items mixed in. I'll leave a link in the description below to a post with my favorite faux and dried florals. I tend to look for pieces with warm colors and texture to help create a beautiful fall look. The fifth thing I do not only has to do with looks, but also with smell. It's been proven that smell is linked to memory and for me there's no better way to remember fall than the smells of the season. Now that you know the five easy ways that I quickly decorate for fall, let me show you my DIY terracotta pumpkin pottery barn dupe. First, I found ceramic pumpkins at the craft store and spray painted them with two different types of spray paint. One that had a cement look to it and one that was more of a gritty stone. I needed to spray a couple of coats to make sure the ceramic was covered well. You can use any kind of ceramic pumpkins with this, even ones that you already have and want to update the look. I even added in ones that I had recently bought from Target too because I didn't love the finish on them. Right here I'll tell you that I ended up preferring the cement-like spray paint finish better. It just looked more like terracotta to me when painted. 
the gritty stone one tended to flake off a bit. I'll leave a link in the description below to the cement-like spray paint. Once the spray paint was dry, I used three different acrylic paint colors to create various shades of terracotta. This started out as a Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkin dupe project, but as I got into it, I decided the various shades made things feel more authentic, just like you would find with real stoneware. Then I whitewashed the pumpkins. For the whitewash, I used a quarter sized dollop of white paint mixed with two tablespoons of water. It worked best when I painted it on thickly. Next, I would give it a few minutes to dry and then dab some of it off with a wet paper towel. All of the pieces ended up with a bit of a different look and I love the variations. I also think they blend in well with the Pottery Barn terracotta pumpkins. Thank you. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you love this video and I hope that you found something inspirational and the five easy ways that I get our home ready for fall. Also, I hope that you love the DIY terracotta pumpkin craft. I will leave links to both those blog posts in the description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe so you can follow along with everything we're doing here at Sugar Maple Farmhouse. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.